Okay, this is going to be a tutorial on running a regression in Rapid Miner. We're going to run a regression uh, using uh, a cross validation operator uh, to evaluate uh, how good the estimation was. Okay, so we're going to read uh, from the repository from tutorials a data set, which is the beer data set. Cerveza means beer, so let's open it and let's take a look at it. Okay, we're going to connect it, we're going to run it. And then we have an ID variable, and then we have uh, the label vari variable, the variable that we want to predict is cerveza, uh, that means beer. And then we have uh, gender, we have education levels, and then we have income and age as uh, X variables, as regressors. We take a look at the data. Uh, these are dummies, uh, gender and the education variables are dummies. And the last two, uh, income and age, are continuous variables. The variable we want, to, we want to predict is continuous too. So this is a regression problem. This is a prediction problem. So let's go back to the design area. And if we wanted to run a regression, uh, just run the regression without evaluating how good it was, uh, we can just add another operator to the, 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 the design area. So we can search for... Uh, linear regression, and there is, is under modeling, classification, uh, function fitting, and here we have linear regression. So if we add that operator right after uh, retrieving the data, uh, we can run a regression. So here's, this is the operator. We're going to come back to talk about uh, this settings in a minute. So if we run the program, uh, there we have it. Uh, we have our regression and we have the coefficients of the regression. Woman is minus 181, uh, meaning uh, women drink drink less than men, and then we have a, a nice a, an interesting pattern of education uh, and uh, beer drinking. Uh, but notice something about this regression: uh, some of the coefficients, uh, so some of the variables, were uh, dropped from the regression automatically. Uh, that is because if we go back to uh, this operator, uh, there was uh, some feature selection uh, done when we ran that program. So if we check none here, the program will include all variables that were in the data set to begin with. So if we run the program now, we're going to have uh, the coefficients for all the variables. Whether they are good or bad to predict beer, it doesn't matter. Uh, if, since they were uh, in the attribute list, they're going to be used as uh, regressions. So what, what this setting does, uh, feature selection, uh, it does some pre-selection of variables. Uh, it uses a, uh, a criterion similar to adjusted R square. Uh, the variables that do not seem to be helping a lot to predict uh, beer consumption are going to be left out of the regression. So that's basically the basic idea. If we come back, if we go back to the output, uh, as you can see, there's something missing from the output of the regression that you would find in programs like SPSS, uh, Minitab, uh, Gretel. Uh, typically, we get some measure of the performance of how good the regression was to predict beer consumption. We don't have anything like that in this output. So what we're going to do, uh, if we want to do it in in, in Rapid Miner, we have to ask explicitly Rapid Miner to include uh, those metrics. So we're going to go back to the program. We're going to get rid of the operator for linear regression. And uh, we're going to add many operators at the same time by including a building block. This is something uh, very useful. So we can add a collection of operators uh, in, in a block. And we can add them. In, in one step. So we're going to pick from new building block numerical cross validation. And we get, uh, let me, we get, uh, we get to look inside the operator. And inside the operator, you see, uh, we get a split between training and testing. So uh, the, 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 the program is going to do the following the program is going to take. Uh, the Cerveza uh, data set, the beer data set, and it's going to split it in two. Uh, one part is going to be called the training set, and that set is going to be used to run the regression. 
to learn the coefficients for the regression. And the second part, it's going to be smaller, it's going to be 10-20% of the data set. It's going to be set aside, uh, and it's going to be used only to evaluate how good the regression was. Uh, if we go back to, if we go up, I noticed something. Uh, this new operator, this is the first time we see it, but we're going to keep seeing it uh, for the rest of the course. This operator is a, is a special operator. It has this little two windows here. Uh, that means that this is a nested operator. Uh, there are operators inside this operator. So let, let me show you how it works. So this operator requires a training set. So we're going to connect uh, the Cerveza data set to this. And many uh, results can come from this uh, operator. Uh, one of them is the model. So I can show you the model. And if I run this uh, program, I'll get, again, the same, uh, the same model. This is the same output that I did uh, when I just had uh, the linear regression operator. So let's go back to the, to, to the design area. And this is something new. Uh, besides uh, the coefficients of the regression, we can get a measure of how good the regression was. So this is going to come. It's, it's going to be an average of uh, the performance of the operator uh, in the cross-validation uh, uh, chain. I'm going to explain very careful what cross-validation is in class. But the basic idea is, is is what I mentioned before: split the data into training and testing, run the regression in the training set, and then try to forecast what the value of beer is going to be in the test set, and then evaluate how close you were to the actual values. Uh, so we're going to go inside uh, the operator again. And we get here the linear regression. And again, by default, it's doing uh, the feature selection. So if I, don't wanna, if I don't want feature selection, then I can check none here. Uh, there are two ways to uh, go between uh, the design area and inside an operator like uh, the cross-validation set that has a, a two little windows in the, in the uh, corner, uh, right lower corner. Uh, you can use this little arrow here. You can go up, and then you can go inside again. Or you can use uh, this icons. So I'm inside the validation change. I can go back to the process. Uh, design and okay so let's go back let's check so we're doing no uh, feature selection so if we run the process we run the process then I'm gonna get the model and then I'm gonna get my measure of how good uh, the model was so let me run it so I get uh, the output and then I get uh, this measure root mean squared error which is going to be the metric we're going to use to evaluate how good the regression was. Uh, the root mean square error is what it sounds like. Uh, take your forecast, compare it to the actual values. Uh, for each observation, you're going to have an error. Uh, square that error, uh, take the mean of the error, and then take the square root. Uh, that's going to be uh, the main metric, the main measure we're going to use to uh, as, as goodness of fit or how about forecasting ability of a model when uh, the dependent variable is a continuous variable like in the case of uh, the regression the, of the linear regression so this was 88.8 .8, uh, so this was in dollars so the, the the root mean square error was 88 dollars when we used all the variables in the data set so we can try we can go back uh, and see what happens see if we take the advice of this operator and do some uh, feature selection before uh, we estimate the error. So we're going to run the model again. Again, what I did here is I asked uh, RapidMiner to drop the variables uh, that it considers are not very useful for predicting. So if we run the program again, as you remember, some of the variables uh, didn't appear in the final output. What happened to the performance vector? The performance vector improved uh, a little. It was 88, now it is 85.
Okay, uh, let me go back to uh, the process area and uh, say something about uh, reusability. This is a concept that I have mentioned in class and that makes working with this program so easy. So this is the program for linear regression. Uh, to, tomorrow or the day after uh, we, we do regression, we're going to cover a second technique for prediction, which is called KNN. It means uh, K nearest neighbors. Uh, the program for KNN is going to be very similar to this one. It's going to have, we're going to retrieve data. We're going to use a validation chain to evaluate how good the model is. We're going to go inside the change. And the only thing that is going to change in that model is what operator I'm using to uh, model the data. So uh, in, that, uh, in that tutorial, um, I'm going to replace this operator by a different operator, a KNN operator. When we talk about uh, regression trees, I'm going to change this operator uh, with a regression tree operator. But the rest of the program, the rest of, uh, of, of, of my, uh, what do I call it, uh, of the process, the rest of the process is going to be exactly the same. That's the basic idea I mentioned on day one. Uh, we're going to learn the process and changing the particular algorithm we're using to estimate uh, or to, to produce forecasts uh, is going to be uh, changed, but then the rest of the process will remain the same. Okay, I'm going to stop uh, my program here.